Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, it's finally Friday. We've made it to the end of the week. The one thing I want to talk about today is fear. So I have a question for you. How fearful are you today? And what I mean by that is, are the things that you're doing in life, are the, are the, are the actions you're taking, are the risks you're taking in life causing you fear or are you just relaxing? And the reason I ask that is because I really believe fear is a great barometer for success, right? You've heard the saying, the greater the risk, the greater the reward. But I also say the greater the fear, the greater the reward. You see, I remember so many things in my life before the success happened, there was a lot of fearful nights. There was a lot of turning of the stomach nights. There's a lot of nights of doubt. There's a lot of nights of, could I do this? Fear is the one thing that you have going against you that you contribute to every single day and you believe it. Oh, you can't do this because you don't have the money. Oh, you can't do this because you don't have the speech. Oh, you can't do this because you don't have the degree. Oh, you can't do this because you don't speak the language. Whatever it could be, fear tries to stop us. And so many times we give in to fear. We say, okay, fear, I'll listen to you. Okay, fear, I guess you're right. But we never get to experience the joy on the other side of fear, of climbing the wall of fear and doing the very thing that fear says that you couldn't do. And what is that? Maybe it's starting your own company. Maybe it's being successful. Maybe it's going to college. Maybe it's not relying on your parents anymore. Maybe it's going to the gym and getting into shape. Maybe that girl or that guy left you and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, what am I going to do with my life? Prove them wrong. Just prove them wrong. Don't be afraid of what life is like without something. Look at your life and say, I want to be happy even without those things. That is what fear wants to do. Fear wants to have you rely on things and on stuff and on people. But when you overcome fear, you realize you're really self-dependent. You really don't need those things, but you end up enjoying those things when you get fear out of the way because then you get to rightly see those things, right? I'll give you a quick example. If, if I was afraid of being single and then I married my wife, the fear of losing her would control our marriage. But... I had to become a person who was happy with myself, whether or not I was married. And so when I met my wife and when we got married and I got to be with her and now, you know, we've been together for five years. Now, the more that I get to be with her and the, and the more that I get to see her, the more and more that fear is gone. And the more that the fear is gone, the more that we have a better relationship. Fear corrupts so many things, but at the same time, fear is a good barometer to let you know that you are on your way to success. Because if fear wasn't there, then you wouldn't be going anywhere, right? If you're sitting on your couch, you really have nothing to be afraid of. But if you're going on a journey, on a hike, if you're playing a game, if you're going to the gym, if you're doing something, the fear is always there, but you're overcoming that fear just by getting out of your couch and going in your car and driving to a store. See, every day we overcome little fears because of a greater desire. You're hungry. You fear not eating food. Therefore, you take the action and eat to, to get food and eat it. Now, the action to get the food is overcoming the fear because the desire for food is greater than the fear of hunger. That is a small step of what I'm trying to say. Let your desire for success be greater than your fear of not being successful. Let your desire for the thing push you there. Right? That's what a runner does. When a runner is running and his joints and his bones and his muscles and his tendons and his knees and all these things are hurting, the runner pushes through because there is a finish line. And at the finish line, there is a trophy. So what are you running for? What are you running towards? Don't just run away from something, but run to something. Have that goal set before you and keep it in front of you every single day you wake up. Don't pay attention to the times you fall down. Don't pay attention to the muscle cramps. Don't pay attention to the people in the crowd saying you can't do it. Just keep running towards the goal. And I promise you, when you get there, <laughs> it's going to be more than worth it.
Again, comment, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell if you guys would like to know whenever I put out more content. So guys, let's end this week right and let's start off the weekend better by giving somebody a high five, give somebody a hug, buy somebody a cup of coffee. Be kind, be nice, be meek. Have a blessed week.